Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to Better Mexico. When we last left off, we had just succeeded in our little war to push Norway out of Nova Scotia. Yeah, specifically out of... this is Cape Breton, is it not? I really should know this geography, I have family that lives out here. So, if I got that wrong, I'm just an idiot. Seriously. Anyway, also it occurs to me... Um, I have been bulk recording a bunch of videos, so, and I also haven't said this for a while, but, uh, we are definitely still doing the whole thing where you suggest a province name to, uh, rename a capital, and I haven't done that in a bit, but I got one that hopefully won't be too, like, what I'm actually renaming compared to when, uh, the suggestion came in, the delay will not be too long, I guess is what I'm trying to say there, so let's get this name in here. I mean, I'm spelling it right. Did I write it down correctly? I hope so. We want to keep it as... Nah, you know what? We'll... Um, no, I spelled that entirely wrong. I think I missed an R in there somewhere, didn't I? Yes, I did. There we are. Do we want to put city at the end of that? Nah. I mean, that's basically what the burr part is. Or burg. Uh, you might also notice our money and stuff is a bit different. Uh, like I said, I I figure I'm going to try in between episodes to... Uh, that's when I'm going to do all the micromanaging to build stuff. Uh, we also have some rebels, by the looks of it. Uh, let's see. Penobox. Which I spelled... Penobscot. There we go. It has Scott and Penob in the name. I don't know what Penob means, but there you go. Uh, we have a bit of this. I'm not too worried. How are we doing with our religious unity? Um, just a couple people we still have to convert. Beautiful. I'm also really regretting now not sticking some kind of fancy symbol on our flag here. It looks so empty without it. Plus, I'm pretty sure in real life the, uh, the Mexican flag actually has some kind of marking on it. Like an actual national symbol type thing. Similar to the lovely maple leaf on the Canadian flag. Or, what's another good example? That's all that's coming to me right now, but <laughs> there's a lot of nations that have symbols on their flag. I should know more of them. Also, we're in second place. Who is, who's in first is my question. Probably the Ottomans. You know what? Let's put that to the test. Let's have a look. I mean, at the end of the day, score doesn't mean a lot, but... This isn't score. Where's the score button? There we are. Score comparison. Yeah, like I said, the Ottomans. Though we're getting more score per month than them, so eventually we are going to surpass the Ottomans. Yes! The Ottomans thinking they're greater than me, even though we did ally them. Beautiful. Colonies are self-sustaining. Never looming disaster is in progress, but it reset. I love how it seems to keep resetting every time a colony finishes, which basically means we are never going to have a coup. Also, I uh, set some colonists to move and... Oh, no, that's not fair. That's not fair at all. Yeah, I had some uh, colonists shuffle around off camera. We have a lot of buildings. Uh, can I fabricate a claim on something just to make sure we're still fabricating claims on stuff? Also, it occurs to me, might have actually been useful to fabricate claims over here. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, good, good. We took care of this. I did this mostly so we could go in here and conquer these guys at some point. We might want to do that before our next big colonial war. What's going on over here? You're at war with the Ottoman. Right, right, the Ottomans. I wonder. Wait, you're also at war with the Ottomans. Interesting. So if the Ottomans actually really kick some ass here, we might end up in a situation where the various groups just kind of split apart. And they won't come to defend each other. I took a loan. Oh, hell, what? What's going on here? One, two... Oh, it's because this colony's not quite finished yet. That'll be fine. Oh, Catholic zealots, no! They're gonna convert us to the wrong religion. Or at least they're gonna try. We're not playing some crazy game where we're... Trying to play as the Ottomans and then turn Catholic and become the Holy Roman Emperor. I feel we should do that someday. That would be funny. I'd find that funny. Ah. Uh, nothing like having the classic enemy of that. What is this? 
Oh, you're just a 10 stack that's sitting there. Why are you sitting there, Mr. 10 stack? Or a Ouija deceptive. I'm going to culture convert this as soon as possible because we're never going to have more Norwegians in our country. They're not a bad people. They're just not what we need right now. And meanwhile, let's start shipping troops down to Africa because our next big war of Portugal... Look at this. Forts. They have such big forts. I don't know if it's such a big deal here, but yeah. And if I recall, Portugal, I think, probably still has their entire, like, 40k stack here. So we're going to want to make sure we can at least match that. If we can. What's going on over here? Oh, okay, you're good. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure we don't need our entire army here to deal with the bad guy. Wait. Yeah, I have a 25 stack here. I have a 12 stack over here, which actually matches this stack. And these places over here. Which go Wait, is this still a colony? No, yeah. There we go. Okay. So you're... You go over here. Also go over here. Um... Hmm... I'm still waiting on all this, in the, in the dream, the dream I tell you, of, yeah, them finishing colonizing this, that's what I'm trying to say. Now, this is also a finished colony. Now, so you guys are moving, you stay there. We still have that, we have some loans. Instead of paying back the, actually no, I should probably pay back the loan before we do any building. Oh, good, our newly renamed place, we just changed its uh, name, thing, title, word. Internal conflicts in Den- aw, poor Denmark. What did Denmark ever do to- do, bleh. what did Denmark ever do to deserve that, is what I was trying to say. Alright, we are immediately going to do the colonization rates again. They put us at risk, but it increases our settlers. That's good. Oh, yes, I should probably be fabricating claims somewhere. Um... Fabricating here and here. Actually, I have a colonial CB over here. If I declare a war... Ah, uh, yeah, these guys are still willing to come in. Hmm. Molly would come in on our side. The Ottomans wouldn't, because they're already at war. Hmm. Ivory, Gold Coast, and Denkira. Alright, so basically all three of these uh, flames end up being the same, and basically it gives us 50% cost, huh? And we could declare it as a colonial war. We won't get a call on our allies. What does this do exactly? How does this help me exactly is my question. The answer is I don't really know. I don't really care either. Also, looks like uh, British Brazil is kind of growing. That's good. So, I guess... And yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll declare... <clears throat> excuse me. I'll declare the war on Portuguese West Africa, or on Portugal, rather. And I'll make sure that France and Castile are co-belligerents. That way I can... Like, we'll end up with a lot of guys involved in this, but... Should be fine. Plus, we'll have Molly helping us. Alright. I don't think I'm going to need a particularly large army here. On, uh... And once we have a foothold... In the New World, we should be fine. We're going to build another sunny army. In better Mexico. Bada bing, bada boom. That won't put us over a force limit, will it? Nah, not even close. We'll be fine. You guys still colonies? You're a colony. You're also a colony. Sugar and coffee. Mm-mm-mm. I like it. Beautiful. Uh, where's our transport ships? Oh no, natives are attacking us in Guantanamo. That's not very nice of them. That's not very nice at all. Castile declared war on Mombasa. Not Mombasa. Those guys are pretty nice. I'm pretty sure they're our friends or something. Well, at least we made friends with them. Uh, Mr. Ottoman, are you doing anything? 
Wow. Just look at the size of their armies. Like, they're, they're like ants just flooding into... What are you guys even trying to do here? Oh, you're at... You're actually at peace. What the heck's going on over here? Oh, you're being attacked by Ferrara. All right, also, I want to do another quick check here to see what kind of allies will be brought in this. Let's see. France will bring in Ferrara. Castile will bring in Pope Man and Venice. And Portugal will bring in Ferrara. You... Okay, so... France, as a co-belligerent, will bring in no one new. But Castile will bring in Pope Man and Venice. And I'm not convinced they'll actually do anything all that serious. Oh, you're Mombasa. Second, I thought you were still fighting the Ottomans, and I was gonna say, that's kinda odd. Wow, look at that French Canada. It looks so much bigger because they've painted the wasteland blue. I think they're people. Well, they are people, but they're not my people. All right, but we are gonna be at peace for a little while longer, just because I wanna make sure everything is perfect. Oh my. And when I say perfect, I say good enough. Like, as soon as one of these is done, we're gonna get this war going. I don't care that we won't be able to call the Ottomans in. That's okay. What I would really like to do is, like, just take the entire coastline in one war, if I can. Tax modifier. I like the sound of that. More taxes is always good. Build costs going down. Why did I not pick this up earlier? Especially since we're going to be doing a lot of building. Alrighty then. I'm going to move up here, because obviously we're going to have to fight all these French people. That's never a good sign. Uh, you know what? We're going to slow down our colonization game a little bit. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da. You guys can stay there. 25 stack. Probably doesn't actually need to go anywhere. But to be safe, I should have them roll up to the capital. Actually, no. I'll, I'll just leave them there. For now. It's, it's going to be fine. Probably. As soon as someone comes home, we're going to get this war going. Probably. Wow. Klex 13.5 free ducats in the Caribbean. Let's actually have another look at how trade is going. Let's see here. We have only 42%. Portugal is siphoning a pretty big chunk. It's amazing. They only have two provinces in this node, and they're actually able to exert, like, a ridiculous amount of power. So is Castile. I and France. But then again, that's probably because... Wait a minute. Oh, that doesn't make any sense, because all of colonial France is up here. As far as I could tell, France has nothing going on here in Africa, so where... Is France getting the power down here? Because there's nothing from up here that's flowing down towards the Caribbean. Do they have merchants here? That doesn't even make sense. How do they have merchants here if they have no provinces or anything? Clearly, I don't understand. And we're losing nine ducats from this node. Apparently. Just nine ducats just gone. Wait, actually, wait. I'm assuming these are not, like... Wow, most of them are going into Sevilla. A.K.A. into Spain and Portugal's pockets. Sitting here shaking my fist. I should build more trade protection buildings over here, because the Europeans are always going to be a threat. And they're always going to be trying to suck trade out of my country. Darn foreigners. Stealing my hard-earned money and jobs. Uh, let's see. How... Everything is good here. The only thing we don't have a... A thing on is Quinnipiac. Quinnipiac, however I properly pronounce it. Are you kidding me? I have no missions. I can't have any missions. Ooh, I could build the Panama Canal. If we had 30,000 ducats and 26... I really want to build that? Probably. I mean, if I have the money lying around, I'm going to obviously build it. But I don't know if we'll end up having the money lying around, because, you know, we are going to be doing other things. And... 20 stack gonna make its way anytime soon? Who are you? Who 
our Umar Zirid. So let's get Umar over here. There we go. And to be honest, can I uh, recruit a general? I can. Excellent. So let's go over to the general. Oh, this guy's much better than whoever's over here. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna stack up because I am fairly certain there's gonna be problems if I don't. And then we'll drop you. And we're gonna declare the war. I don't actually expect Molly to get much done here. Uh, could I actually make them a protectorate? No. That's unfortunate. Because if I could, then that would make all of this very, very nice for me. Uh, but yeah, we'll call in Molly. Um, why don't you? You're in debt. Okay. Like, I promise you land instead of favors? I can. Which means as long as you don't peace out separately, things are fine. Really? Aragon doesn't... They might change their mind. The Ottomans can't because they have a truce. And they have no interesting, uh... Oh, dear God. Do I have a truce against these people? Ah, you do. So that might keep you out of the war. Oh, well. Again, I'm not, I'm not scared of these people. I really just want the coastline, because that's where all the trade company stuff is. Actually, should I start this war now? The episode's almost over. I hate when I end up doing stuff like this, where the episode really doesn't seem to go anywhere. Oh, wow. Wow, why do you have such trust for me? I don't recall actually spending trust on you. But, hey, if you think I'm trustworthy, I, uh, I like it. Okay, here we go. Let's just get this war started. Uh, you and you, because I want to be able to separate piece you and possibly get some sweet, sweet provinces out of that. Specifically, I want stuff in the Gold or Ivory Coasts, which are... Oh, I guess I have to switch to Trade Regions. Probably made more sense. Ivory Coast is here. Gold Coast is all the way down here. No, that's Cape of Good Hope. Gold Coast is just up here. Those are trade regions rather than... Or I... Uh, trade company. Let's just get this war started before I just ramble on and don't actually get anything done. As is usual. Bing bada boom. Bing bada boom. Alright. First step. Ah, there's the actual Gold Coast right there. Oh, I see now. I gotcha. Ivory Coast. Where's the Gold Coast? Gold Coast is probably here? No? Wait. Th yeah, this is the Ivory Coast. Where's the Gold Coast? One of these... Like, it must be based... Okay. I think I sort of understand what's going on now. Hey, I forgot I had a province here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's actually get some work done, shall we? All right, slow down time. Um, probably shouldn't have started the war yet. Because I don't actually have anyone in place. That's usually a bad sign. Swear to God, if you try destroying my land. I'll be very displeased. Alright, leave one guy there to protect that. Uh, probably should get a leader on this. Which would be you, because I can't afford another leader. Alright, let's kill these guys. Assiniboine insulted us? Why would you do such a thing? Alright, to Rosario, and then here, and blah 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 blah. Surely they wouldn't destroy this. Alright. This is, this is gonna be a crazy one, as usual. All right, hopefully Molly at least distracts Portugal. You think I could s No. Their combined navy's got to be bigger than mine, right? Oh, yeah, it's much bigger. Uh, military, military, military. I'm still way ahead, so more attrition for enemies. And less attrition for me, so that's good. All right, I'm happy, I'm happy. Everything's going well. Looks like we're about to kill some bad guys. Uh, where is your... L You're in Connecticut. I want to rename Connecticut. Well, if you, they, you guys have a suggestion for Connecticut, obviously I will. Because it would be improper and going against the spirit of... Oh, hello. 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 
Did I kill you? Oh, I don't know. Gotta try at least. What just happened? Oh, we're destroying them. That's beautiful. Oh, this is what's happening. Gotcha. Oakley, Oakley. Uh, expect this to be very slow, by the way. I mean, I, ass I assume you guys already figured that was going to be the case, given the fact that this is, uh... Nice. This is going to be a very big war, as per usual, this sort of thing. So they're hopefully going to sail all the way back home. That's good. And let us... Uh, yeah, we're going to fabricate some claims. Uh, you know what? I'm going to actually focus on killing their army, I think, before we do anything with that. So I want to make sure their army is not a threat. All right. Let's just hope I remember to keep coming back and take care of this stuff. Can't circle through Molly in it? No. All right, good. Uh, we've been discovered fabricating a claim, apparently. That's unfortunate. Things can happen. That's life. Life goes on. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, what about here? There's an 11 stack. Don't know what they're doing. Something, something just came under better Mexico control. All right, there we are. I really hope they don't... going to seriously run all the way down here. Hopefully they don't come for me over here. That would... That would make me a very sad man. We rule as we see fit, or we pay a bunch of ducats to some angry people. Guess we can pay the angry people. Hopefully they'll make them shut up and go away. Portugal actually here? I am not seeing Portugal. All right, let's uh, try to save ourselves a little bit of attrition. As we can keep maneuvering around here, trying to figure out exactly what we're doing. Oakley. Yeah, they're probably going for my capital, if I had to guess, which is completely undefended, and will cause me a massive drop in war score if they capture it. But I'm not, I'm not all that concerned about it, really. And it's, it's again, it's one of those things where you're kind of, it's something you got to be kind of concerned about, but it's not your primary worry. All right, good. We're gonna kill their army again. Which is good. All right, and this is as far as I can. This next province is as far as I can go. Oh, nice. We're already gaining our wars. Nice. I am pleased with this development. We are converting more heretics, or heathens, or whatever they are. Everyone's accepted in our country, but we prefer it if everyone follows the state religion. Uh, we're... Okay. Why can I not drop some guys? There we go. And then make your way back up. Okay, we've taken their capital. Beautiful. Um, go kill them in Manhattan. You know what? If these guys are going to make their way there, I might as well go meet them. So let's do it. Actually, if they get there first and decide to get dug in, that would be nice. What are you up to, Mr. Ottomans? Hey, okay, that's going good. That's going good. Killed a never bad guy army. Uh, let's go invade Quebec now because that's always a fun place to visit this time of year on the 8th of December. Oh, and we took that. Uh, Sierra Leone is under better Mexican control. Again, we're going to focus mostly on taking coastal stuff. You can sit there. Actually, that's a bad place because that touches a. There we go. Yes. Okay. That's going to do it for this episode, so for now, thank you all for watching, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video.